Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this first video on object role modeling, I'm going to start with talking about what is a database, right? Because if I don't explain what that is, it's almost impossible to start talking about object role modeling. So what is a database? Now you can think of a database as a set of propositions so great more new words now what is a set a set is simply a collection of things and another thing about a set that you should know is um, no duplicates are allowed so what that means is if a single proposition is in your database then we can't allow a duplicate of that proposition in the same database okay that brings us to the question what is a proposition a proposition is basically a statement or a sentence which can be either true or false now in our database in the database we would hope that all the propositions are true right we don't want any false propositions so now that we have defined a database as a set of propositions there are many things that you can consider as a database for example you could say that a phone book is a database right you could say a phone book is a database because it has a set of propositions right for example you could say uh, Mary lives on uh, 7 George Drive uh, Balberry right that is a sentence so yeah a phone book could be a collection of propositions very easily so we're going to define a little bit further and say we are talking about um, computerized databases. So what are computerized? Computerized databases is different to a phone book because the data is now stored on computer and is accessed through a software package that we call uh, DBMS database management system so if you think of a database so let's say this box is your database whatever is in this box and there is a person trying to access this data this person is trying to get to the data they basically have to go through a database management system in order to get to the data right and the database management system is obviously accessed through a computer so you can imagine um, yeah there is the person gets to a computer which then allows them to get to the database management system such as Microsoft Access and then through the database management system they get to the database with all their with all the data so you might say well why can't we just access the database why do we need to go through the database management system well the basic uh, role of the database management system is to turn data into information so as the data gets transferred back to the user the database management system helps to turn data into information All right, so you might say, well, what's the difference between data and information? All right, well, data is basically, there's just so many new words. Data is basically 
a basic fact, right? Um, and then information is information is data organized to produce meaning. So, for example, right? Let's say I have some data, just some random data, right? Ed Chan uh five green road zero four two three five two nine two six one all right people are not gonna know what that is okay but if you organize this data okay and you say put it on a business card Okay, then you have name is Ed Chan, address is 5 Green Road, phone number is 04, blah, blah, blah. Then this is information. All right, so that's the difference between data and information. Okay, so in this first lesson, I just wanted to explain to you guys what is a database and um, what is a database management system and uh, yeah so that's basically the first lesson and sorry we haven't actually started on object role modeling but I promise we will get started on that very soon okay thanks for watching guys see you next time